Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make watercolor poppies. So let's do it! Okay, so to start I'm going to go through my materials. First I have my Arches watercolor paper. Um, I also have my Windsor Newton Cotman watercolors in my palette. And I have my Princeton snap brushes. I have a size 12, a size zero, and a size four on me. And my water and my paper towel. And I also have my heat tool, which I'm gonna be using for this video um, to speed up the drying process. If you don't have one of these, don't worry. You just have to be patient and allow drying time for the petals in order to get the same um, look of what I'm about to teach you. Okay, so we're going to be doing a, a watercolor poppy and we're going to be doing it in the style of like the layered florals that I recently did a video on. So basically instead of doing it all in one shot, just kind of painting, you after each petal you have to allow drying time um, to get that layered effect. So to start, I'm just going to create a light wash of a ready orange color very light wash like that and I'm going to start off with my first petal so I'm going to show you two different um, perspectives of this flower so this one is going to be more open so I'm going to start with my first petal which is going to be kind of the furthest at the back so this is going to be behind the other petals I'm going to just make sure you try not to have too much water. If you have too much water, it's going to pool and then you won't get the same blending effect. So you got your light wash there and then you're going to take your uh, paint with more paint than water on it and you're going to just tap the bottom and you know you're doing a wet on wet technique properly if you see, hold on, this kind of effect. Ooh, sorry when it kind of comes out kind of like spider veins almost okay if it just starts slipping and sliding everywhere that means you have too much water so you kind of want to see those veiny effects coming out so there's one petal and then I don't want to do a petal that's next to it I want to let that one dry but I can do a petal over here because it's not touching that so I'm going to do one of the petals that's down below this one's going to be a bit more flat because it's more open like this, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so very kind of rough edges. Again, take your paint and go in the middle. So, I just want it a bit darker up here. I'm just gonna add a bit more color up here. There you go. And I'm gonna let those dry and I'm gonna show you a different perspective over here. So again, a really light wash. And this is gonna be more of a side view. So, and it's gonna be a bit smaller. I'm just gonna do one of the back petals, kind of same shape, jagged edges. that and I actually might do one little bud flower up here so it's a, kind of starting to open I'm just gonna take my red go back in tap the bottom of the petal and then you're gonna let that dry. I'm gonna use my heat tool and I'm just gonna fast forward the video so we can get to the next um, petal. Okay, now you just wanna make sure that they're completely dry so they don't bleed into the next petal. Um, okay, so again, 
I'm just doing this. Now I'm going to do another petal coming up this way. One over here, and then I'm going to do one over here. red go back into the middle now I think on this I have a bit too much water because if you notice right here the paint isn't um, it's not bleeding really it's just kind of staying put in a little puddle so I'm just gonna dry my brush off and I'm just gonna kind of push this around and mop some of that water up and then I'm gonna go back in and now it's starting to bleed the way I want it to. I'm also going to drag some of that color out. Okay, so there's the petal for that flower, and then this one. And I might do one over here, small one. Back in with my red. I'm just going to drag some lines down. Like that. And then this petal. Again, I have too much water, I can already tell, so I just dab my paintbrush onto my paper towel dry some of that off and then go back in okay and let that dry okay again make sure it's completely dry then you can move on to your next petal. Okay, so these are gonna be the last two petals on this flower. I'm just gonna come up here like that. One there. One there. Again, go back in with your darker red. Like that. I think I'm gonna do one more here, maybe just a small one. And then one over here. <clears throat> like that. And let them dry. And then once all of your petals are completely dry, you can do the stem. So I'm just gonna take a nice dark green, maybe mix it a bit with black to make it really dark. And I'm just gonna do a stem there. 
stem coming from behind this one. Stem coming from this one. that and now just for this one that's open I'm gonna do the middle I'm gonna make a circle with my black and then just make dots around that circle okay so now another thing you can do just to give it a bit more detail if you like you can take your really light wash of red that you made. And you can just, now that it's dry, kind of create creases in some of the petals. Just to give it a little something extra to look at. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to. <clears throat> well, you'll do this when all the petals are dry. So you have those lines going over those crisp lines like that. And there are your layered poppies. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more. Have a great day guys. Bye.